Hi everyone and welcome to another match in my Tooth and Nail series. We're on the draw. This hand is keepable, so let's keep it. We're facing a Lures deck. So it... Yeah, it's most likely a Shadow variant. Jant most likely. Okay, opponent goes with Hex Drinker first and plays Mishra's Bubble, cracking it now. Arbor Elf. Huh. I think I'm going for a safer route, playing Utopia Sprawl first. I don't want my Arbor Elf to get bolted. Okay, I don't need to name Red because I already have a red source in my hand so I'll go with green this way on the next turn I will play a land and overgrowth so that will be 4 5 mana or 6 for creatures with castle but opponent seems to cast inquisition okay so he'll probably take this overgrowth no that's interesting he took Arbor Elf for some reason. Maybe because he doesn't have removal. Or another discard spell would do the job. Taking away Overgrowth. We'll see soon. Okay, so it's four colors already. Opponent skipped attacks. Probably by accident. Okay, do I want to? play into um, Assassin's Trophy. Domain Zoo wouldn't play such a spell, right? If they did, they would rather just play some kind of a burn spell, like, I don't know, Tribal Flames. Okay, opponent levels up Hex Drinker to level 3, making it a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, Primeval Titan, that's nice. If we absolutely have to, we can cast Titan, getting Blast Zone to get rid of that Hex Drinker. But for now, let's just cast a Tarka. And get ourselves a creature that can end the game in 2 turns, because opponent is at 14 life. Okay, 5 damage to Hex Drinker. Atarka is not an instant, so the damage goes through. Yeah, and this is all thanks to Castle Garenbrig. Otherwise, we wouldn't have enough mana this turn. This is partially the reason why. I went from a spell-based to nail build to a creature-based to nail build. The only non-creature spells are to nail and planeswalkers. Okay, so opponent has scourge. Okay, so what do I do now? I could cast Titan. That would be six, seven, eight, nine mana. And what will I get with Fierce Empath? Maybe I could get Elder Scale Worm. But if he has Timul Battle Rage, I might be in trouble. So let's hold the Tarka. So this scour Scourge won't grow. And just play it safe. Yeah, I would have. Wait, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Ten the following turn. So let's just get Titan. Next turn I will cast 
fierce empath into elder scale worm and try attacking then this is not a line without its risks because opponent already showed inquisition of Kozilek so we can easily lose fierce empath but let's see if opponent actually has it Yeah, with Atarka able to block, he needs some kind of a burn spell or a way to reduce our life total. Because if he fetches, we have the highest life total for the Scourge, so it's a 6-6 six, six regardless. Okay, opponent passes. And starts fetching. Grabs Lurus. Okay. So let's just try to attack and pump Atarka, I guess. I mean, we could show him one of those cards. But there's no need to. Exactly. Okay, so it's probably 5 color Lurus Zoo. Death Shadow Zoo. I don't know if he's very low on removal or not, because I've seen none except for this card. So I might bring in Nissa's Pilgrimage. I don't want him to know I have Madcap Experiment and we are up one game. So I think I will save, save Madcap Experiment for game 3 to surprise him. And now the question is, what about the utility lands? He had Hex Drinker, he had Scourge. Haven't seen any Tarmogoyfs. The only graveyard interaction, a uh, graveyard based strategy he had was Lurus. So I think I will ditch Cassie Wolfron in favor of Blast Zone. and get like one Nissus Pilgrimage in yeah, and change Lanoir Tribe for another Pilgrimage just in case he has removal maybe his hand was just unlucky draw with no removal in it we'll see soon I wonder what did he have blue for? Because there was overgrown tomb, stomping ground, polluted delta and a swamp I think. Okay, about this hand looks fine. It's not spectacular, but it has gilded goose, which is very good against uh Scourge of the Sky Cliffs. I've killed some by cracking the food token. Okay, there's Inquisition of Kozilek. I guess opponent will take away Arbor Elf. Indeed. Oh, tribe, that's fine. Okay, get Goose out along with the food token. Okay, no play for, from our opponent. That's good. Okay, maybe the blue is for something like Drowning the Lock. But for now I'll try to resolve uh, Lanoir Tribe. Even though opponent probably has something like Fatal Push. Oh, he didn't even crack the fetch at the end of my turn. So maybe he doesn't. There's the Scourge. Ah, opponent first fetches. So wait, can I kill the Scourge with 
food token the next turn. I would have. Yeah, there's the scourge. Yeah, he paid the mana for it, so it stays. Okay. So how do I do this? I play Nissa. I will have untap the land and get tap it, untap it, make four. So both create a token and sacrifice it. So that's what we will do. Unless opponent has something like uh, stubborn denial, maybe that's what he has blue for. He does. Okay, so I'm going to pay one anyway. Uh, yes, I want to pay one. Could have played around that, but getting this out is very important. Um, do I attack? Probably. Maybe I'm allowing him to cast his Death Shadow. Okay, he puts Lures in hand, that's great. So he nearly taps out. Oh, opponent is gonna see something cool. Okay. If I shock, I won't kill the Scourge. So could I cast Emrakul this turn? How much mana do I have? Four, six, seven, ten, twelve. What if I used overgrowth? That would be three, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen? I think so, about. No, let's not do it. Okay. probably have Emrakul mana, but I'm going to play it safer. Establish the board and do something cool. Okay, so let's tap this guy, make a food token and crack one. And see what the opponent does. Okay, Scourge dies. So we are attacking and playing the land tapped. Okay, that was easy. <laughs>